Are you looking to get the Insta360 ONE X? We've just spent three months using this camera. So here's the good and the bad coming up. What's your Wi-Fi password? Is that a spider? Yeah, I can break it. I've never been a big fan of virtual reality and I don't see a reason why you would let your audience wander around when you're trying to tell them a story. Virtual reality to me is sort of like an annoying little kid who's not paying attention when class is in session. Yes, while the Insta360 ONE X still lets you shoot high quality 360 videos for virtual reality, but where it really shines is in its ability to let you direct the shots after you've taken them. And once you've loaded the media into their app, you can easily pivot or pan around the 360 video as if you're directing a movie. And for a person who always misses the critical shot with this 360 camera, I can guarantee you, you're not gonna miss anything ever again. And also in their app, you get the ability to flatten your videos so that it looks like you've captured everything through normal lens. And if you want a wide angle view, there's the fisheye option. And then there's this option, which combines two 360 images into a 2D plane, which makes everything look like a tiny planet. I think the tiny planet option is really fun to use and it allows you to create interesting visuals that lets you maintain your audience's attention. So whenever you're taking a shot with the Insta360 ONE X, you'll notice that the selfie stick is always missing. And that's because the software is combining the images from the two lenses together and it's automatically deleting the selfie stick in between. So this means you're able to shoot from a third person's perspective even while you're holding the selfie stick. So for us, it eliminates the need for another cameraman and if you do have a long enough selfie stick, you can create automotive videos like these. And finally, there's bullet time. It lets you mimic the bullet time effect first made popular by the movie The Matrix. I think it's a great feature to have because it lets you add interesting flares and let you lets you create interesting visuals for your storytelling. If you want to find out more about the bullet time effect, click on the link above. We made a short video about it. And now for the bad. I think it's pretty amazing that Insta360 is able to make such a tiny camera so versatile. But unfortunately, because it's so compact, its battery life is slightly over an hour under continuous usage. The good news here is they give you two batteries in their camera bundle. Next. The LCD screen on this camera is not very bright. Under any normal condition sunlight, it is absolutely hard to see which mode you are in. Which brings me to the next beef. Switching modes between photos and videos is easy. You can do it through the main menu. But if you want bullet time, you'll need to scroll through a list of sub-menus, which is absolutely frustrating if you're shooting on a run and particularly if the LCD screen is not legible. But apart from all that, I still think this is a terrific camera. It's probably one of the best 360 cameras you can get out there. And then I can only hope that Insta360 addresses some of the issues that are mentioned in the video for the next product launch. Thank you for watching. We hope you've enjoyed the videos. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up and please subscribe to help us grow. I'll see you in the next one.